So let's go further with iron hemostasis. First, you have, I have two types of iron. Iron in the plants called non-heme and iron in the meat, which is heme. Both of them will go to stomach and from stomach will go to the duodenum. In the duodenum, I need this intestinal villi, which is, I'm now talking about enterocyte. I then need a specific kind of protein. From intestinal villi, the iron will go either to the ferritin, or incorporate it as ferritin, or go directly to the bloodstream, but needs special kind of receptors. And here we have transferring now with iron. If we need to fill this diagram again, what what I'm what we need now first. This is non-heme oxidized ferric Fe plus three need to convert it to ferrous Fe plus two for better absorptions. This is reduced already Fe plus two, which is already ferrous, so it does not need any conversion. So, what is the factor, what is the reducing agent responsible for reducing ferric to ferrous, uh, to ferrous, yes, is vitamin C. Okay, and now, the ferrous in the stomach, I need low pH, which is HCl for better absorption in the, into the duodenum. And in the duodenum, now I need Divanent, more divanent metal transporter protein one for better for absorptions of iron, which is ferrous ferrous state. Okay, and now Fe plus two here, but when it is when when it's stored, it is stored as Fe plus three. Okay, and the final final player here is a protein. I mean, final layer and basolateral membrane of enterocyte. Remember, this is enterocyte, a protein called furoporitin. Okay, furoporitin, and now Fe plus 2 out will be also converted to Fe plus 3 again. Why I'm talking about 2 and 3, 2 and 3, I don't like it. But the reason is, there is, there is a kind of protein, I'm not sure is it important or not. We call this a protein as, let's make another color. We call this protein as ceruloplasmin. Okay, this is protein responsible for two to three, two to three, two to three, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Okay, also here, ceruloplasmin. I'm not sure this is important. The important thing, however, you need to know if I have problem with the vitamin C deficiency, that's mean I have iron deficiency anemia. If I don't have villi like celiac disease, that means I have iron deficiency anemia. Again, if I have, if I don't have HCL in the stomach for a reason or another, let us say maybe due to PPI, proton pump inhibitors, I will have iron deficiency anemia. Finally, if I don't have such protein, if I don't have ferroporitin, what I will have? I will have iron overload. I mean, I have an increase ferritin. Yes. If I if the iron ferrous iron will not go out to the bloodstream, so the iron will accumulate here. Makes sense. Okay, makes sense. So now let's talk about major regulations of iron hemostasis. Remember first you have the enterocyte, which is the duodenum enterocyte, and you have here the macrophage. Okay, here also on the right side, enterocyte and macrophages. And you have this kind of protein, this protein, and here is transferring iron, transferring iron, and protein, 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 
14. And finally, major regulator is the liver. Okay, now fill with me. Okay, ferroporitine and ferroporitine. Okay, now the iron in the blood, in the iron the enterocyte will go to the blood, iron enterocyte will go to the blood, and the same iron enterocyte will go to the blood. If I will have, if I will have chronic inflammation okay or high iron river will, river, liver sorry the liver will release specific kind of protein or peptide called hepcidin and guess this structure or imagine the structure of hepcidin looks like this so what usually hepcidin do hepcidin will go and sit on the ferroporitin receptors, distract and degrade these receptors. So as a result of that, the, the ferroferritin will increase inside the enterocyte, and the ferritin will increase inside macrophages. And this basically, you will see, you will see this in iron overload disease. So why this happened? This happened in the chronic inflammation because it signal for the liver, block liver. I don't need further hemoglobin. I don't need much iron in the blood. So please, no, no more iron. So what the liver do? Liver basically will go to the several tissues and just will stop, will stop release of iron to the blood. No iron in the blood, but still there is iron in, in the storage form, which is stored as ferritin in the reticular endothelial cells. His reticular endothelial cells, uh, and sorry, in the enterocyte and reticular endothelial cells. This is in the chronic inflammations or high high iron disease. On the opposite of the case, the opposite. If I don't, if I have low iron in the blood, or anemia, or hypoxia, so this will go signal to the liver. Look, liver, please don't secrete don't secrete hepcidin. So here no hepcidine on the right side okay so the stimulus for hepcidine basically the stimulus for hepcidine is the chronic inflammation or high iron while the non-stimulus for hepcidine which is the negative is the low iron and iron deficiency anemia okay thank you